Whoa. Well, there's Ashley. Well, she's doing a job, but doesn't realize that she's real good for the wrong team. Like hell. Everybody, hang on. Shepard, what's happening here? You know me better than this, Ash. I knew the old Shepard before Cerberus. Right now, I'm not sure who I'm dealing with. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Bodina's behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. We've mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. We don't have time to debate. Damn so right. If we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. Got a choice, Ashley. Do you want to step in our way? No. You're not. Good. Udina. Oh yeah? Take him down. Well, that takes care of Odin. Oh come on guys, he was gonna kill the council, I wasn't gonna allow it. Ah, oh, it's only Bailey. Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Oh yeah. Something's not right. You said Cerberus was targeting us. Where did their soldiers go? Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the keeper tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. Damn right. You have saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both a personal debt. And one on behalf of Palavan. Just doing my job. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. Times like this, we all stand together. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No, I don't. But I plan to find out. Well, come on, guys. I had to kill Adina, at least. Are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. <laughs> and there's the well remnants of the war by the looks of it and we saved Ashley now there's an important step to this but we'll get to that later yes things didn't go as planned the council's still in control of the citadel and Udina's dead Udina was expendable <laughs> now what there are other plans in motion I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Lane. It won't happen again. Mm. We'll see. Lang, huh? So that's your name. Well, it doesn't matter. We've saved the council again. Governor Vodina, finally. And we found out he was in Cerberus's back pocket. So that explains how Cerberus got on the station. He's been pulling some strings. But how long was, you know, Udine's treachery? How long was it ago? Was it, you know, a few years? Decades? We won't know. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. Hmm. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Udina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Oh, 
I don't like the sounds of this, guys. If this is what I think has happened to poor Fane, why was the complications? I caught that they didn't have much drug blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus if you want to see him. Uh, go now. Thank you. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian counselor says he's a hero. They just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him. Yeah. I got a feeling, guys, Fane is about to draw his last breath. I mean, he did take a sword to the gut. He's ill. He's suffering from an illness. So we're going to check with the um, the Spectre Ops, see if there's anything going on. Now, as far as Ashley goes, there are two scenes that could have happened with Ashley. And, and I'm going to stop here and explain. If I, you know, didn't do the Paragon thing, I would have probably shot Ashley. And killed her. Ooh, civil dis order. Okay, nothing new there. Requisition, what do we got here? So, ooh, Black Widow. Okay, terror control schemes. I'll take one of them. But also, I want to take the Black Widow. Thank you. Right, time to leave. Now the Black Widow guys is usually my go-to sniper rifle because it's long range and it packs a hell of a punch. Right, anyone about? Nope. Oh, hello. You. I just saw, did you just glow red there? Hmm. Citadel Reaper Code Fragments. Alright. So it sounds like something going on we can look into. So yeah, with um, with Ashley, I could have gone one or two ways with her. I could have, you know, killed her or, you know, save her life. And I chose the one to save her life. So basically, she lives. Whether or not she comes with us is another question. Whether, whether she is or doesn't will be a very interesting, you know, question. Now, in many playthroughs I've seen of this game, she does. And many she doesn't. It really depends on how her mood is with you, where she stands. We'll find out soon enough. Jesus. This is looking cheery. Okay. Alright, um, Fane. How bad is it? Let's hope Cola can make it in time and give you the blood you need. No, that's Ashley's room. Not there. Oh, is that the doctor? Can I help you? I'm looking for a drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drell, but not under that name. He was injured, stabbed. He's a regular patient here. It's all right. It's all right. I see. <laughs> the doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mister. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel syndrome. Uh. At its worst, Keppel syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen, and he lost a lot. Now they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. Could I do something? I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Kolya, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Oh, man. Fane. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. That's I true. If you remember me. I'm Kolya Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. He was a hero. Father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Damn, Ray's a hero. He's a boss. Commander, I'm afraid I won't 
I'll be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Bane. That assassin should be embarrassed. <laughs> A terminally ill drow managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. <laughs> There's something I must do before it gets worse. I must... of inscrutable depths. I ask forgiveness. Kalihira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. <coughs> Kalihira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. <coughs> Koyad, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. Yeah, I think he reformed after the mission to number two. Commander, would you care to join me? All right. I best give him his last regards. This one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starves. Guide this one, Kalahira, and he will be a companion to you as he was to me. He's passed. There's something I don't understand. His last moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. What was the prayer for? His wish was for you. You know what? Goodbye, Fane. You won't be alone long. So basically, he was saying that Shepard needs salvation after what's happened. Lang, you bastard. You killed Fane, huh? Well, I'm gonna butcher you when I get my hands on you. Oh, hey, what's this? What we, do? we help our patients, all of us. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. We're fighting right now to protect the people you're talking about. If you let these people die, that fight is for nothing. Lang, I hope I get a rematch with you, and I'm gonna put you through the ringer and then butcher you. So yeah, guys, unfortunately, Fane is the first one to die, and I got a feeling he's not the last. Now, if any of you think you could save Fane, you won't. Trust me. Uh, see the comments here. You won't save Fane. Fane will die regardless. In this game, there are guaranteed at least two deaths in this game, and Fane is one of them. Well, technically there will be three, but two are guaranteed. <sighs> Damn it, I liked Fane. He was, he was one of the good ones. Right, now... Solarian Nebula Ring, hmm? So there's something around, huh? Right, let's see if we can find that stuff, that, you know, that pipe? Uh... Nope, just fish. Nope. So now from that kiosk. What about this one? Nope. Right, we're getting a lot of journal updates for missions. So that means, guys, we're going to have to hop around the galaxy for a little while. So before we head back to our... Wounded Batarian. Oh, 
update Spectre Terminal. Okay. Map. Oh, it's a mission. So this will be a mission in the um, in C sect. C sect officer, officer Noel, the R. So there's something going on. We have to keep enforcing the law. Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Look at Palavin, my friend. We're in hell. We should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place. How does cracking down on that crap help us win the war? People need to blow off steam right now. And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. You have to show them that CSEC is still in control. They need that security. Right, that CSEC dealt with. Is any more? Number four and number five. So busy guys, there's something going on that needs our attention. Officer Noel. Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Oh, hey yo. Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. Oh. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Right, so basically there's something going on with the Batarians, huh? Oh, who am I spawning here? To everyone in the Citadel, CSEC will shut this whole place down. CSEC couldn't protect us when Cerberus attacked. I'll take him to court. You think a court is going to want more people running with guns right now? Then I'll go to the wards and sell from the back room at Purgatory. People are already scared. If you violate weapons, would a bunch of civilians shooting at anything that moves make the Citadel safer? The commander's right. Maybe it's the council. Right. That's that sorted. Right, let's have a look. Uh, nope. Nothing here. What is that bloody thing? Let's have a look. Uh, da -dum -da -dum -da -dum, sniper rifle. Nope. This is armor crap. I don't want this. I want the stuff that's gonna, you know, help my ship. Number four, the courtyard. So that's over there. And Liara as well. Nope. Collector ar armor. Hmm. Not too shabby. What the hell, Ibra? Excuse me. I'm sorry. You need to hear this. Oh, it's her. Oh, it's that um, Krogan. Well, that's that dealt with. Let the L. That's a lot of crap. Infernal armor. I don't want. Nothing. Where the hell is it? Be somewhere crazy. Well, anywho, we managed to fix that one, so. Where's the officer here? This is the place, isn't it? It is. Right. There's gotta be an officer. Oh, Hades Neck. I think that was that one. I'm gonna keep hitting. I wanna hit the down, you know, the, um, the pads. I was about to say, there's no way Liara's just sitting there, just drinking, is she? Where are they are? Is she at number six? Okay, she's at the marketplace. It's almost a pasta. So where is the C-Sect officer? 
Jesus Christ. There's a lot of missions here, guys, in the Citadel before I can go anywhere. Before we even go, go out into, you know, the... Go out, I have to go and deal with this kind of crap. Oh, there you are, Liara. Oh, that's not Liara. I thought it was Liara because it was the white. Where the hell is she? Oh, there she is. Hello, Shepard. So I'm not... She's not for talking. So yeah, guys, there's a lot of missions on. If we can take a quick look at the journal, as you can see in the mission summary, there's a lot of missions. Yep, GX-12 thermal pipe. But for some reason, it's not there. Gung-ho civilian, that's a lot. Oh, hey, oh. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. Right. So that means, guys, we have a lot of missions. And here we go. They're going to get angry. They're going to get pissy. Right. Yep. So we're heading up all the way to the embassy again. Now, as many of you know, this is going to be a long and slogging affair. But there's not much I can do. And also, we got a lot of missions outside where we're going to have to go to different areas to, um, you know, to deal with certain problems.